Girl Who Let Through Time, directed by Mamoru Hosoda. So the movie starts out with a high school student named Makoto Kono. Makoto might think she unlucky, but she ain't, cause she know who her daddy is. Makoto starts her day, and runs into more trouble than LeBron James caught with the white girl. Homegirl gets stuck with some of that hard labor, and goes into a back room after hearing a strange noise. Makoto's like, hey, somebody doing the doing here? We Japanese, so I know we do that from time to time. I've watched stuff. She finds nobody, and finds a walnut looking ass thing. But then she notices someone and falls over on that walnut. And then she experiences time itself. She goes back to her lethal parentheses crew, Kosuke and Chiaki, and tells them about what just went down. Chiaki's like, girl, you crazier than a black man without some yellow cake. She finishes hanging out with them dudes and starts to head over to her aunt's job to give her some peaches. Suddenly, her brakes don't work and she gets hit by one of them trains. But Makoto travels back in time and finds out that she ain't dead. She goes over to her aunt who works at the art museum and Makoto's like, girl, you ain't never gonna believe this. I just time travel. Makoto's aunt is like, oh, you done got me fucked up coming up in here wasting my time like this. But on the real though, you probably just time leap, honey. So Makoto goes back to her hizzle and tries to figure out how the hell she time leaped. She goes to a river, makes a run for it, and literally leaps through time. Oh snap, yo! So now that she figured out how to time leap on her own, she decides to use it for her own benefits. But then she starts fucking up. After the end of a school day, Kosuke gets confessed to, and Makoto doesn't pay any mind to it, cause she a player like that. But it turns out that homeboy turned the poor girl down. Probably because he has somebody else in mind. She rides home with Chiaki, and while they're riding, Chiaki's like, Makoto, do you want to touch butts? Much to the surprise of Makoto. So she tries to time leap to fix the situation, and no matter how many times she does it, she still gets asked out. So she decides to walk home with that. The next day, she tries her best to avoid Chiaki and finds out that her friend Yuri likes Chiaki. Ooh, it's getting juicy. The day after that, a boy who got bullied because of Makoto's time leap decides to take it out on the bullies and her. Chiaki gets hurt trying to protect Makoto, so she time leaps. And Yuri gets hurt instead. Which brings Chiaki closer to Yuri, and they end up dating. And in the midst of all the happenings, she finds a tattoo with a number on it, pointing out how many leaps she got left. So our girl is feeling down and out like Justin Bieber's music career, so she goes to her aunt who shows her a painting that she's been renovating. Her aunt's like, you see, this here painting was done in a period of war and famine, but it makes you feel at peace like some great Kool-Aid on a hot day. That good old sugar water purple. With things in perspective, she decides to fix all the wrongs that she did, and she leaps all the way back to the day she first acquired her ability. She uses them leaps to get Kosuke to finally like the girl who confessed to him by using guilt and turning her into a body bag. After school, Kosuke grabs Makoto's bike to take the engine girl home not knowing that the brakes don't work. Don't do that, dude! Makoto tries to call them, but can't, so she goes there herself, and instead of getting a call from Kosuke, she gets a call from Chiaki, who's like, Hey, you time leaping? So she uses her last time leap to avoid the question, making a dumbass mistake, and just then, Kosuke rides by her. She panics and tries to stop them, and eventually does, by stopping time itself. But it's Chiaki who freezes time, cause it turns out that he's from the future. In his town the world's all messed up, and he came back to see a painting that was destroyed in the future. Chiaki explains the purpose of the walnut, and that he used his last time leap to save Kosuke, and because of that he has to leave. And he does, leaving Makoto with new realized love for Chiaki in one last time leap. 
So Makoto leaves back in time and sees Yuri who's like, I wonder what Chiaki would be doing on his days off. Makoto's like, step off ho. And Yuri's like, that's what I thought. Now go get your man girl. And she goes to find Chiaki and returns the wallet to his rightful owner, explaining what she knows. Makoto promises to keep that painting safe for the future. And Chiaki has one leap left, so before he leaves, he goes up to her all close like and says, I'll be waiting for you in the future. And Makoto's like, no doubt. So Makoto tells Kosuke that Chiaki went to study abroad, confidently knowing that what she wants in the future will be waiting for her. The end. I'm to get on visa.